Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend of April 10th through April 12th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the weekend of the 10th through the 12th of April, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate with you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, it's been a pretty good week for me, I guess. Fairly uneventful because you know we're still on lockdown, but hey, it is what it is, right? Um, yeah. I don't really have anything else. So, so let's let's just get straight to it, yeah? And let's see what happens. Hi spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all, all for our weekend of April 10th, Friday, April 10th through Sunday, April 12th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids. We're going to give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got. For the collective weekend edition, what is going on for the collective this weekend? All right, let's see. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that came flying out. The world. Well, okay. So there's completion happening. Um, this card says a brilliant success, freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely, definitely some completion energies here. I mean, this is something we've been talking about all week. Um, and the one phrase, the freedom to go in any direction is resonating the strongest. So whether you are in a mindset right now of um, just being completely free, burdenless is what I'm hearing because you are well aware that even if... Yep, even if the situation isn't completely 100% um, over and done with, you know, if, even if the cycle hasn't completely finished out, you are still very confident in yourself. I mean, look at this, King of Spring, or in other words, King of Wands. So, so uh, there is definitely an energy of still being a little bit held back at the moment, um, whether that's purposefully or just because you are waiting for something to really fully like the energy to really fully close out and i even kind of want to say there's an energy of waiting or or being poised to make your move in whatever this new direction this new field this new opportunity whatever this is for you before you make your move in that direction there's an energy of allowing things to just completely clear out of the way. I don't think you're completely conscious of it. What I feel like is happening here is you're just waiting for the right energetic time to strike and you'll know when that is. Um, you'll just feel it. You'll just know, okay? Um, but poised and ready to go. You also have the Seven of Wands again. Look at that. Yeah, so look, those defenses aren't coming down anytime soon. And, I, and to be quite honest, I really don't feel like they should because ultimately the defenses that you have up here with the Seven of Wands and the motivation, the inspiration, and the, even the belief in yourself um, that you've developed, that you've cultivated is has everything to do with what is closing out in this cycle here with the world, okay? So, there, no, you wouldn't want to... To, to, to drop your defenses or drop these boundaries that you've recently developed or recently cultivated because if you were to do that then you'd just be letting the same energy back in and that's that's it's not how we do things here 
I mean, don't get me wrong. We go, we fall back into old habits all the time. But the the point of all of this is to learn the lesson. You know, get that well, get yourself well versed in it. Get it well under your belt, and then to move forward towards the new. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. Here. Okay, we're gonna take. Oh, oh. Five of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, with the King of Wands of, under that. Not the King of Wands, I'm so sorry. The King of the King of Summer or the King of Cups is under that. Also, the Seven of Swords is under that. Um, I feel like there... The Lord in Heaven. All right, wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. I, I don't feel like this is you. I don't feel like the King of Cups energy with the Five of Pentacles is, which is, that's under the deck right now. Um, the Five of Pentacles is here. King of Cups is right there. I feel like this is someone external to you. I feel like it's someone you're not really trying to pay too much attention to. This feels like it could be a new love interest or a new person that has become intrigued by you. You have piqued their interest in some way. This could have something to do with romance. You do have the Two of Cups. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But I do feel like there is there could be someone out there that's kind of like watching you um, and afraid to approach you in some way. Again, this could be someone new um, who just sees who you are, potentially sees even what you're going through, knows you've been through a lot, knows that you've struggled, but knows that you've come out on top you've come out stronger than you were before you're much more confident you're more more charismatic you're much sexier you're much more vibrant but this is all because this is not a facade this is all because you have cultivated this within yourself from whatever this i want to say toxic situation that has been that has been in the process of closing out for you for some time this also could be this person that's represented by the king of cups this also could be someone from your past um maybe even the person that you know you're moving away from or the cycle that this person is closing out with and they have the seven of swords the seven of swords is underneath the king of cups and then the, the king of cups is basically sandwiched between the five of pentacles and the seven of swords and so i feel like this person is watching you from the sidelines if this is someone that is from your past they're watching you from the sidelines and they're watching you move on with your life and it's almost as if it kind of feels like the further and further you get away from them energy energetically or maybe even physically but the, the further the, the greater the distance that becomes between that that comes in between the two of you it's like the greater they the stronger they feel for you the more that they want to reach out to you the more that they fought, find that they feel like they love you and and it's a little and i'm gonna be honest for a lot of you out there this is an energy of too little too late buddy like it's <laughs> <laughs> like why would you even want to waste your time feeling all of that right now because i'm moving on <laughs> okay <laughs> but and that's that is fairly egoic but okay i mean to the, but it's also the boundaries here not gonna lie and the the, the ego is really mainly a defense me mechanism for us in this three-dimensional world it's a it's a decipher it's a discernment tool often our egos get in the way and they start to run the show which is not necessarily nor not really how it's supposed to or how it's designed to work but ultimately that's what it is right now okay um all right so with all of that you have the two of cups ego which is the devil the hermit the oof 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 there we have it you have the page of swords here i told you they're watching you you have the page of swords and you have the king of swords um and i'm gonna be honest there is uh, there is a very humble energy here between uh, this page of swords and the king of swords. I feel like this is in fact the same person both the page and the king But the thing about it is From the king of swords energy point of view It's like this person is really only going to watch you from the sidelines because they know that if they were to try and get involved with you right now That would not be a good idea Because you're not an energetic match. You're not in alignment with each other and so And and, and I'm gonna be uh, I'm going to continue to be honest with you guys. The King of Swords energy is also more of, I almost want to say more of an admonishment on their part. Um, it's, it's like the judge and the jury are standing in between you and this person. And 
even though the king of swords energy i do feel like it's kind of their energy i feel like it's an energy that's surrounding them also keeping them at bay it's almost like the universe has it's like putting them in like a timeout or um at least when it comes to you there's a feeling of look you can't you're no you speaking to this person, you trying to interact with this person, you trying to get in on their their secrets, you trying to maybe even move forward towards them and run some game to try and stop them from where you're from where they're going to go. That's not allowed. It's not allowed. It it, it almost feels like there is there is a there's kind of like a jail cell around them, surrounding them, an energetic jail cell that surrounds them. But when it comes to you. Because you have, in fact, moved on, or at least you're on in the process of moving on. And so then we get to this energy here, two of, two of cups, ego, and the hermit. So it seems like what I just heard is they're facing the reality of the situation. They're facing their part in all of this. Um, they're facing your part in all of this. I'm not going to say that everyone, like that all relationships are a two-way street. No one is completely innocent. Okay, all of the time. It's very rare that you'll find someone, well, not very rare, but it's fairly uncommon that you will find a situation in which one person was completely, uh, is, com is completely without responsibility. Because even, and I, I will say it this way, even in, if, in situations in which you find extreme victimization, right, there is, is still a level of responsibility for even the person that finds themselves in that victim mentality or that, that victimized state to find a way away from all of that. I understand, like, look, don't jump down my throat. I'm not trying to say that it's all, like, it's the victim's fault completely, 100%. What I'm saying is, ultimately, you, the individual, are responsible for saving yourself. And yes, that's going to require some help. Yes, there are some extreme situations where you're literally held captive, you're held hostage, physically, mentally, emotionally, and all that kind of stuff. But, but ultimately, even in your in, if you're in that state, you it's your responsibility to choose to find a way out. Okay, and ultimately, you go through all of these situations in order to learn. And yes, I understand sometimes they can be extremely traumatic. We've been talking about that all week. Like, why all the trauma? But ultimately, ain't nobody going to save you but you. And yes, there will be individuals that are willing to help you, but you have to at least take that first step in choosing to make the change. Okay, fine. That was a complete tangent. We don't have to talk about that any longer. What I'm picking, picking up on here is Two of Summer, Ego, and the Hermit with the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. This person is watching you from the sidelines. They are very aware. I, what I just heard is they're very aware, or at least they're being made aware, especially with this King of Swords energy, or that at least they're coming to terms with the mess that they've made, the ego-driven mentality that created this whole situation to begin. Either created or exacerbated, or both. Created it and then continued to make it worse, right? So like I said, this person, yeah, look at that, four of swords. Okay, so this person is caught between this five of pentacles and this seven of swords energy. And it's the seven of swords because I don't think they want you to know that actually they're pretty emotionally distraught by this. Or it could be that for the first time, they're really starting to understand the power of emotion. And this could be a situation in which at one point they may have even like made fun of you, harassed you, called you names, belittled you, put you down because of your emotions, because of how strong your emotions are, because of how much you feel, because, you, because of how much you allow yourself to feel. And that's very taboo, in, especially within the masculine community, right? Like men or masculine energies, they don't feel anything, which is bullshit, uh, which is toxic and which is indoctrination. But the thing about it is now they're coming to terms in some cases is what I'm picking up is that they're coming to terms with their own feelings in the situation, which is then allowing them to see your feelings from a different point of view. And then that's causing them to go within and be like, oh my God, if I were them right now and they were me, they'd probably be, I don't even know what they'd be doing. 
to hurt me because of that. Like, you see, it's like the tables have turned. Their energy, I just heard their energies are coming back at them at this point. They're literally needing to face themselves. And there's, I'm hearing there's no way around it. Now, just because there's no way around it doesn't mean that it's, that any there's any real sort of significant change that's going to come at any real time soon. I mean, it's entirely possible, but don't get your hopes up. Don't get caught up in the expectation that just because you're hearing, they're starting to see the error of their ways. They're starting to get their comeuppance. All of a sudden, they're going to turn around and come groveling back to you. I highly doubt that's going to happen. Because what I feel here is this person still needs time to work through the ego egocentrism associated with this to begin with okay it's not like an overnight thing where all of a sudden they start they wake up the next day and they're like compassionate as hell and all they want to do is just like kiss babies and pet puppies and kittens like no guys <laughs> their egos are still fighting and their egos are still going to fight it's going to be a struggle for a good amount of time it's going to take a lot of resilience to move forward it's it's entirely possible but this is exactly why Part of the message is like, don't really get your hopes up that anything is going to change dramatically overnight. I mean, great change can happen very quickly. Don't get me wrong. Anything is possible, but, it, but, but like, don't even allow yourself to get settled into that expectation because it's not going to serve you. Okay. You, you need to keep moving forward. Just keep moving on, doing whatever it is you're doing, because apparently it's working for you. Like, regardless of whatever is going on for this person here, you seem to be good. The world, Seven of Wands and the King of Wands, it's like, I don't, I, I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> that kind of energy. And some of it might be egoic. Some of it might be a little bit trying to like, you know, be sly and cutting and whatnot. But, uh, but, at, but the, the, the theme of the energy is I'm not even focused on this. King of Wands, I'm focused on what it is I want. I've got my laser focus on whatever it is I want. And trust me, honey, you are not a part of it right now. I don't even think you'll ever be a part of it, but. That's yet to be seen. But I'm not focused on that right now, says the King of Wands. I'm focused on the next adventure, the next phase in my life. As soon as this, this energy clears out from whatever we had here going on, says the King of Wands, man, I'm out of here. So don't get your hopes up. You know what I mean? I want to talk about the King of Spring. Let's see. Excuse the sniffles, guys, please. But let's see. Let's talk about this King of Spring energy. This card says, A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now and unexpected support of your cause. The strongest phrase that, 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 um, that pops out for me here is the leadership aspect. I do feel like there's definitely a leadership aspect um, that's tangible here. But this is because you are moving forward, not taking any shit any longer and not going back to the past. So you're, you're definitely leading by, leading by example, not only for other people around you that could be watching you, that could potentially be going through similar situations, but also for this person, whoever is trapped in this King of Cups energy. And it literally feels like they're trapped because there's nothing they can do about it right now. All right. We're gonna give this one more shuffle with this King of Spring here. Um, also keep in mind that gender is an illusion. Uh, well, to a certain extent, gender is an illusion, but we're not talking gender here. We're totally talking energy. So this, I mean, this could be a man and a woman. This could be two men. This could be two women. You have, you never know, all right? I'm just reading the energies. It has nothing to do with gender, okay? Or sexual orientation. But let's talk about the King of Wands or King of Spring here. Why is the King of Spring here, please, Spirit? What can you tell us about? this energy hmm. oh wow okay look you guys you are still keeping up this energy of like i can't hear you i can't hear you and that was what i think that came out yesterday but you have the four of cups and you have the two of swords so far um the four of cups feels like the past energy and the two of swords feels like you are just not even trying to look at any of that mess any longer like you're, this is, I will say this is a level of denial, but this is deliberate denial or deliberate, deliberately not, no longer looking at something because of how much this hurts you or because of what you learned in the situation. You're manifesting something new. You have the magician here and the magician is with 
none other than the Ten of Swords. This individual that is in this King of Wands energy or this King of Spring, Spring energy is done, 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 and done. With the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, they are moving on and they're like, I, just like I said in that something you ought to know reading that I put out yesterday. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. There is a card at the top right of your screen. But this person is putting their efforts towards something that is really going to be fruitful for them. So this is what I'm, this is what I mean here with this two of swords and the four of cups. It's like, you're not even trying to look at any sort of unrequited love situation anymore, especially this one from the past. It's like, no, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm not giving my energy to that anymore. You're finding a sense of mental balance and stability in the face of this missed opportunity, this unrequited love, whatnot, whatever. And so by taking my love and I'm going elsewhere, that's exactly what I said in that reading yesterday. Okay. So, all right, with that said, what is this King of Winter or King of Swords then? What is this King of Swords, please, Spirit? Okay. King of Pentacles, look at that. Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Lovers in Reverse. <laughs> with the, oh... With the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, so check it out, y'all. This person was stubborn. Sorry. Oh, goodness gracious. Sorry, my mic is being silly. Okay. Um, this person was stubborn as all get out. Could have been dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Le uh, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn. Um, doesn't have to be, though. This is someone that was very rooted in themselves, uh, very financially driven, very stubborn, uh, big headed. <laughs> I just got someone had a really big head. Okay. Um, you might've popped that bubble for them, but that came out with the six of pentacles, the four of pentacles and the six of cups. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here's the thing. What I feel like is happening here, or what has happened here, is that there was a lack of reciprocity. Someone wasn't willing to share. Someone wasn't being willing to keep that equal balance of give and take. Someone, even though there was a soul there, or um, there is a soulmate bond between the two of you, maybe some sort of nostalgia. Ultimately, this individual in this King of Pentacles energy did not choose this connection. Okay. I mean, you two are counterparts. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles with the lovers in reverse. And so this is why with this King of Swords energy, it's like, well, I'm going to have to watch you from the sidelines because I made my decision. I made my bed. Now I got to lay in it. And the Queen of Pentacles is sitting here like, sure, you're right. Claro que sí. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to go back to that. But first, let's talk about ego or the devil. Oh, the Ten of Cups. What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The tower, the sun, which has fallen on the world, uh, and the ace of wands. I highly recommend that you guys watch that Something You Ought to Know reading if you haven't watched that yet. Um, it's the most recent one. Um, it's titled... I mean, there was, a, there was a card at the top right of your screen about like four minutes ago, but um, it's titled Choosing One's Own Self for Sure. Um, and... The tower and the sun came out because what was going on, what, well, go ahead and watch that reading, but the, the sun is here. It's fallen on the world as we're talking about ego, which is also clarified by the 10 of cups, the page of cups. This is, li th you guys, you guys, this is literally what I was saying in that reading. Again, if you haven't watched that reading, watch it after you're done here. 
or you could pause this if you want go watch that and come back actually that might that might be good for some of you pause it here this video here go watch that something you want to know reading it's only like 10 minutes long and then come back okay but this is literally the message that i was picking up there there is too much clarity there's too much clarity with the sun for this situation this egoic situation to continue and thus you have a tower moment because someone does in fact have a dream and that dream is their ten of cups and so instead of feeling like they're trapped here instead of dealing with a toxic or a narcissistic situation instead of dealing with some sort of some sort of codependency and i i mean we absolutely could be talking I'm, I'm feeling i'm feeling a very strong um bond here so we could be talking twin flames divine partnerships or just soulmates you could but it just it just feels there's a strong counterpart energy here between the king and the queen of pentacles right so regardless of whatever way that you seem to think or at some point you believed or feel you may even still still feel this way a little bit some sort of attachment some sort of fact that you you can't seem to escape a connection with someone or you can't seem to to shake them it's like you can't no matter how many times you cut this cord it still grows back ultimately you're changing up the game now because instead of staying in this situation because you feel like you're trapped and you can't get away and you can't and you you won't you're not allowed even to have anyone else in your life other than this individual or this job or this circumstance or this friendship whatnot whatever it's through what you've learned here that you've come to realize exactly what it is that you want out of life and so what it is you want out of your fulfillment and your happiness so you're cut you're you're making the change now but what's changing this for you is you realizing that whatever this toxic situation is it is never in its current state in its current energetic state in the in the way the current way that it's been going what you know of it right now you will never ever ever be able to get the full expression of your emotional fulfillment happiness love support whatever creativity whatever this is for you you will never be able to get it under those circumstances and so you're putting an end to it or someone's putting an end to it the tower it's coming down the falseness of this reality is starting to change uh, the, 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 the the lies the secrets the the, the 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 masks the illusion it's all coming to the forefront and this is happening on a on a global scale right now okay so because of that again there's too much clarity here for you to stay in a toxic situation and thus you're inspired to move on and it, it's like you finally cut the cord enough and i guess this is a in a mental way you finally have cut this cord enough to no longer have to believe that you have to stay connected to this situation because there's a there's a level of understanding that's saying that source would never want us to be unloved source would never want us to be in an unhappy marriage or a loveless relationship but it's upon us because we do have free will it is upon us to make the steps to move into a space that will be closer to or allow us to really cultivate the love that we truly need and deserve and so of course once you start making those moves once you start making those changes and consciously and then following through with them the universe has no choice but to line up with you and follow suit and thus ultimately what it is that you truly want comes in now trigger warning I'm just putting it out there be prepared because i'm about to throw a trigger out there for you for some of you this is a situation in which you've disconnected you've walked away or you're walking away you're slowly but surely minute by minute pulling all of your energy back and so this person is losing that influence that connection that enabling the 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 is losing this source of energetic input from you right and so thus they are left to deal with their own shit the hermit we're going to talk about this hermit in a second but what that means is ultimately with this space of separation between you they could be going through their own 
stuff, right? And recognizing their own feelings, ultimately for you two to come back together at some point in the near future. But hold on. Don't get caught up in the expectation. Keep moving forward. Keep your blinders on here, kids. Two of Swords and the Four of Cups. Don't give any more, inf any, any more attention or energy to an unrequited love situation. Absolutely not. Right? So keep going in the direction that you're going in because ultimately either you're going to manifest this person back into your life and if they do come back into your life, it's going to be different. Of course, you know, do your vetting, you know, go through your due process, right? Or it's going to be someone completely new. Don't worry about that. You just keep your eye on the prize, the Ten of Cups, okay? Let's talk about the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here, Spirit? Well, look at that. There's that Queen of Pentacles again. With the Fool. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, look! The King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck now. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Ooh, the Queen... <laughs> Yikes! The Queen of Wands and the Moon? Whoa. Not the Moon. The Fool. Sorry. Why did I say the Moon? Um, the Moon, probably because... The Moon hasn't actually come out here. We do have the Sun, um, but... Uh, I just said the moon, and so I want to talk about that for a second, because ultimately what I feel here is with this hermit energy, we're coming, we're talking to you now. Whomever this is resonating for that was in, that's in this king of wands energy, you went through a deep excavation process, true. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Um, this is a lack of completion, but what I'm feeling with this is there was a lot of effort that was put into the situation, and it just did not turn out the way that it was expected to. But for you personally, whomever is resonating with this as this individual in this King of Wands, Seven of Wands energy with the world in which this energy is closing out, this cycle is closing out for you, you actually had to go within and learn about your own motives, your own actions. This is, um, I'm thinking of a card from the Whispers of Love. Um, look at your actions look at your cycles or your actions in relationships you had to come to terms with a lot of things too but ultimately that sets you on a path to get well grounded well rooted get into this queen of pentacles energy this nurturing loving unconditionally knowing one's own worth energy grounded and stable and secure very nurturing and this queen of wands energy knowing exactly what it is you want and allowing yourself to manifest it and thus that's setting you off on a new journey the fool <clears throat> beautiful and here okay so we do have we have two instances of counterparts you have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles you also have the king and the queen of wands okay i personally feel like you are embodying this king and queen of wands and the queen of pentacles energy but with that said what I want to talk about now is I want to go back here. On the King of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, but with the lovers in reverse. Someone did not choose this marriage. Someone did not choose this counterpart. And because of this, I'm feeling like this judge and jury is kind of like the gavel has come down and this person needs to stay away in some way, needs to watch you from the sidelines, fully recognizing that you do, in fact, have this deep soulmate connection or deep connection, soul connection in some way. And is forced to stand to sit in where they are because there was a lack of re reciprocity. And I, I feel like they're watching you get all of the things that you wanted, all the things that you desire from other people. And with this Four of Pentacles here, they can't do shit about it. Uh, but, but, yeah, I am definitely seeing that Four of Pentacles as a bit of a prison cell. They may feel like they're in a prison cell. And it's like, it's literally, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm literally seeing an individual watching someone else that they love do like be happy and live their life and they're just literally the whole the universe is holding them by their like by their breastbone like by their chest saying like no and they're trying to like struggle and like wait wait hey you can't do that hey that's mine that, 
No, it's not. You know what I mean? Hmm. He's stubborn, y'all. This King of Pentacles is stubborn as fuck. And this doesn't have to be a man. This could be a woman. All right, but whomever is in this, I mean, they are so, they are so well rooted in this energy. It may seem like they'll never come out of it, but you see, that's that's a job for the universe. The universe can is infinitely powerful and infinitely wise. They know how to get the job done, don't they? I mean, y'all have been in some situations where it's like the universe has been answering your prayers and you're like, what the actual fuck is this? And they're like, just hold on. And you get through it and it's like, wow, okay, I have everything I want now. Ah, you see how the universe works that way. Yeah, okay. One last shuffle. And then spirit, can you just give us a little bit more information into all of, into all of this? What is all of this here? This mess. King of Swords, clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers in Reverse. What is this, Spirit? What else can you tell us about this? Oof. Knight of Wands in Reverse. I told you. Ah, oh, with the Hermit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Good Lord. Oof. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, first of all, is at the bottom of the deck. But look, there's so much... Oh, man. You have the Chariot in reverse. You have the, the, the Knight of Wands in reverse. You have the <laughs> Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Swords in reverse. But the higher... I'm sorry, the Hermit and the Eight of Wands, that's upright. This person has clear and open space to do nothing but look at their own selves. I'm literally, I'm like, literally the universe is kind of giving me this image of like a bright sunny day and a big smiling energy saying, look, look, you have, you have nothing else to do now. You can focus on you. You can like get to the bottom of all this toxic stuff. Isn't that awesome? And this person is like, how dare you? <laughs> How dare you look at me with such a smiling face at such a terrible time and tell me this is awesome. I mean, it is. Because you're finally being forced to face yourself now. Like, there, there is clear and open space. There is nothing standing in your way any longer. Or at least in this person's way any longer. But look at all of this. I told you, it's like they want to rush in and take some sort of action. I heard say something. But that is, I mean, like, they can't even, they can't even get close enough to you to slowly and surely, like, try and rebuild things. The Chariot in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse, pa Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Wands in reverse, and they're freaking out about it. Nine of Swords in reverse. They're stuck, and they don't see a way out of it. But you see, but you see, there is a way out of it. And what do you think that way out of it is? This clear and open space, this clear, clear opportunity, like clear as day. Couldn't miss it if you tried. This opportunity to get down to the bottom of all of this ego. So as a result, you guys, there is great change happening. Karmic cycles are closing out. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Mm, excuse me. Oh, with the emperor underneath that, it looks like someone's learning to be a true emperor and is learning and is getting a level up here. Someone is learning to be a true emperor. Emperor. Someone is being reshaped. Mm -hmm. There's a two of swords. I'm curious, spirit. What can you? What else can you tell us? About this Nine of Swords in reverse, specifically. Let's look at this. What can you tell us about the Nine of Swords in reverse, specifically, please, Spirit? Page, page of Swords. Page of Swords. <laughs> With the Six of Cups again. And the Emperor. You guys... Yeah, oh, jeez. King of Cups. <laughs> Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? Because all they can do, 
all they can do, oh, damn, all they can do is watch you from the sidelines, Six of Cups, knowing full well of the connection between the two of you, knowing full well that this person is most likely the divine masculine to your divine feminine. But all this person can do is watch you from the sidelines with all this love they've got for you that they've always had all along and just watch you sail away. Ooh, straight towards your Ten of Cups. I mean, damn, y'all. Ooh, death. And y'all remember I was actually, when I was saying the hermit before, I was saying the Hierophant. There's the Hierophant teaching and learning this is a pretty extreme lesson for someone out there it's like all of the masculine energy that they may have um that they, 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 they may have subscribed to for so long is now coming back at them it's coming back to bite them in the ass mm. look six of swords Ten of Swords, I'm sorry, Ten of Cups. Okay, this is you moving forward towards your Ten of Cups. Changing the game, death, there's transformation happening. There's an extreme lesson happening here. But look, underneath the Hierophant, there's the Seven of Swords. What you don't know is this person is incredibly burdened and is in fact going through a healing. Ten of Wands, Star. It seems that the options... Are, no, are not options any longer because someone here knows exactly who you are to them. There's the Queen of Pentacles. But you see, the Queen of Pentacles is all Queen of Swords, like, fuck that shit. I don't need that. I am an independent motherfucking woman or man. Nine of Pentacles. You don't want to give me the time of day. You don't want to give me the reciprocity that I need. That's fine. I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to take, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to go move forward and I'm going to put my attention and my effort into something that's not unrequired that is actually truly not just a physical relationship but a divine partnership because i have regained a change in perspective see all that that's what this person says that's moving on without you i must have reversed a bunch of stuff because now there's a there's a few reversals in the deck here. Interesting. Nope. Nope. It was just for that segment. <sighs> wow. Well, alrighty then. I mean, I guess it is what it is, right? All right, let's close out this message here. We're going to go with the Crystal Mandala deck for the weekend. Okay. Okay, just one more shuffle. Alrighty, kids, let's get our closing message for the weekend here. Please, Spirit, closing message for the weekend. April 10th through the 12th. Dar, she blows. We've got card number 25, Ascended Master Yogananda and Rhoda Knight. Empowered Service. Very nice. Some of you could be moving into an energy of being of service. This really could have kicked you into a service-oriented energy. Um, shot you straight into the fifth dimension, which is all about being of service, right? So this is definitely something that has awakened some of you if not all of you, to a certain extent. Uh, we bring you the blessing of empowered service. It is your time to assume your place in the world at the table of the masters who serve the loving hand of the divine. You have been asking for your purpose to be more clearly unveiled and manifested in the world. You have endured lessons of patience. You have learned that spiritual progress can be made even without results being immediately obvious. You have learned trust and willingness to surrender your personal desires into a larger plan. We know that of which you are capable, and we now invite you to step into the next level of empowered service available, available to your soul in service to the greater plan of divine love 
unfolding. So that's kind of part of the energy that I'm picking up on for this person that is in this King of Wands energy that's like not even trying to focus on this past relationship or this past circumstance because they're so dead set focus on moving forward and starting the new phase in their life or getting involved in whatever that is for you. This is exactly what I'm picking up on. It's like you're you're leaving the past behind and you're not trying to focus on anything other than what is right for you and how you can be of further service like i feel i really do feel like this definitely could be some sort of like divine partnership or twin flame situation for some of you because i feel this energy of being activated and wanting to be of greater service to the world and not even trying to give your time attention or love to anything that is not reciprocal but that's the major lesson here in this whole situation yes Alrighty, kids, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.